I'm Dan Paskins. And I'm Rama Elmi. We work on the uh, Can B project for Ealing Community and Voluntary Service. This is a short presentation about the work that we do. My name is Heather Matthews and I work for Ealing Contact a Family. I'm the manager of the project and we have um, two part-time members of staff. Because we're such a small community group, we rely on the support that we get from our national office as well as the local support that we get through Ealing Community Network, who are a network of small groups who come together to support one another and to work closely together and to work in partnership also with the statutory sector. Part of my role at the Lido Centre is as a TIDE trainer. TIDE stands for the Training Initiative for Development and Equality and it's a small um, training provider who provides for the very small community groups accessible, affordable training that meets the needs of the, each community group. And as it's such a diverse borough, uh, there are many small community groups who couldn't necessarily afford um, training, either the, the cost or the time of, to get to training in central London. And this provides, Thai provides um, the facility locally in the borough. And um, there are a wide range of um, training courses available from health and safety, first aid, through to giving advice and information. And um, today I'm running a course on listening skills. So it's really just a list and a discussion really around barriers to, to listening. And we'll just take probably six or seven minutes on this. Hello, my name is Cathy Boyer. Um, I work for the Grand Union Village Community Development Trust and I'm chair of the Greenfield North Cotton Paragraph Community Federation. I'm um, here to tell you a little bit about um, the trust and the federation and projects that are being undertaken. Um, the federation was set up in March 2009 um, by Canby Community and Neighbourhoods Building Effectiveness and is a, is a federation to actually join together voluntary and community groups in the Greenford, North Alton, Perivale uh, area. Um, so far we have over 50 groups I believe and we have a steering group. As the Greenford, North Alton, Perivale Federation works for everybody, the Grand Union Village Community Development Trust works solely in the North Alton area at the moment. And what we do, we work in currently in partnership with Jackie Sear from Ease um, and her team, to and amongst others, we're working with the Metropolitan Police. Um, we're working with a lot of people, West London Mental Health Trust, a um, lot of people to do with domestic violence and anything that will help and support the people that are suffering with or have suffered with. Um, that issue.
Hi, I'm Megan. Um, I'm the volunteering placement worker at Ealing Volunteer Centre. Um, I work on three different projects. Um, the first one, we take referrals from the job centre. So people that have been out of work for six months or more, they come to us and they're offered the opportunity to find out more about volunteering. We've seen quite a few people on this programme. Um, I think we've been referred nearly 400 people. Um, and of those, um, about 150 have gone on to do volunteering. The second project that I work on is called Personal Vest. It's a programme that is run across the capital, um, supporting people who have few or no qualifications to gain um, a level one qualification and to volunteer. The programme has been a real success in Ealing. We've supported several hundred people on this programme. We had an award ceremony yesterday um, where we had an Olympic athlete giving out the um, awards and this is a real achievement for them, it can go on their CV um, and for them to be able to get a certificate in this way is great. It's connected with the Olympics so um, that's a really great draw for some people who um, would like to volunteer at those Olympics and the qualification gives them the skills to work at those kinds of events and to be a real ambassador for volunteering in their community. This really is giving them something that they can put on their CV and gain some experience to hopefully get back into work. Um, the final project that I help um, to work on is called Ealing One Stop Shop Jobs Network and it's a pioneering project in that it's made up of eight partners so we're all working together to use our expertise to support people in Ealing um, both to find work um, and also to volunteer. Volunteering is brilliant in so many different ways and I, the reason I do my job is that I'm incredibly passionate about the um, benefits. It's excellent for people um, getting to know their community. They may live in a particular bit of the borough and just travelling outside of there can, can see, they can see what's outside of their local community. Um, but also volunteering within their community, feeling like they're giving something back to the, the area that they live in. It's also great for people's confidence. Um, so perhaps if people have been out of work for a, for a longer period of time, it's very easy to feel that you're not able to do something anymore. And just doing some volunteering really helps to boost that.